I and my team visited Africa's biggest floating slum, Makoko. Welcome to Makoko, where the people built their houses on this water. Not just any water, just look at the water. Very dark, yet they survive with no internet, no electricity, no road, no hospital. Yet these people are happy. I was just looking at the whole environment and wondering how they could survive living in this place with over 700 children in this place. God is so faithful. Our purpose of coming here is just to touch the lives of these kids, to play with them, to let them know that Jesus loves them and to share our gifts with them. From the look on my face, you can see how happy I am, how excited the kids are as well. This brought joy, peace into my heart. So make sure you watch the video to the end. It was so difficult interacting with the kids because the only language they speak here is Ego. You only have few people, their teachers, few people in each classes that understand English. So thank God for Kenny who did the interpretation for us. He made the job easier. You might be wondering what the kids are saying. They recited John 3.3, 3, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. That is what they are trying to say. At least they tried. They tried. They really tried. So I told the class to recite John 3.16. They ended up reciting John 3 verse 3. But one person in the class volunteered to give us the correct john 3 16 so sorry his voice was not audible maybe because he was not too comfortable but he tried anyway and i asked him to give me a hug just to encourage him the more so this is the first class we visited we visited about three classes because they are much the gift we have could not get to other classes they are about 600 to 700 kids according to what they told us but we are able to reach out to at least 200 kids we thank god and we bless the name of the lord for that by the special grace of god i know we will do more
I requested for a hug again because it's difficult for them to understand English. But when Kenny explained it to them, they all rushed to get a hug. This is a joyful moment with the kids. The joy is unexplainable. So this is the second class we went to the kids. They were so excited with their gifts. I'm so happy for being a part of this program. I know God will continue to strengthen us to do more. At this point, we asked the kids to dance, to challenge each other on a dance. We just wanted to encourage the children, to want them to feel they are loved out there. Jesus loves them. As you can see, they are so happy. They are so excited. This is what God wants from us, to touch lives with whatever we have, touch life with your gift, touch life with your encouragement, touch life with whatever God has placed in your hands. I pray for each and every one of us for the grace to touch lives just as our Lord Jesus Christ did when he was on earth. It is not because we have it in abundance, but we've come here to make the keys feel love outside the world, outside this place. That is what we are doing. So I and my team will join them to dance. Oh my God, this was so fun and so interesting. I wish you were here. So if you have the time to come wherever you are, people do come from different countries to visit this place. In fact, we met a guy, a Brazilian guy. So keep on watching. I did a little interview with him. So people do come here as well to do a voluntary job.
at this point we are moving towards another direction because we had some clothes to give out to the orphanage homes so along this place that is where we met this brazilian guy that came all the way from brazil to do a voluntary job i was opportune to interview him a little bit so keep on watching as you listen to what he has to say sorry for the noise at the background we can't really help it i pray some other time we will do better i kept wondering i kept imagining how these little children could survive with the rate of mosquito we have So his name is Kain Day. He has been the one taking us around. So we've been to one of the classes. I never knew this place is so big with so many children, so many families around. This place is so lovely. I can't thank God enough for their life. Very brilliant kids. So I want to ask you, how many schools do we have in this uh, place? Uh, we have about three to four schools. Three to four schools. But uh, due to this part of solution, it's yes. not free. Okay. To give the kids free education. Okay, the education is free. Yes. So what free. about the textbooks, all the other materials then, uh, they need? Due to all those parts, we actually reach out to the people we know for their support. Okay. And they always be helpful for us with the things we are doing. Oh, because okay. their mothers, they told us they don't have money to send all these things to school. Is it to send them to yeah, higher institutions? to send them to school. We oh, actually okay. promise them we are going to give them a free education. Oh, okay. uh, in time of buying uniforms, in time of buying backpacks, mm. in time of buying shoes, we actually donate everything to them. Wow. The support of the people who actually love what we are doing. Okay. So you mean people do come to support the kids? Sure. regarding the materials their schools so like how much does one school uniform cost because there might be people out there who would love to sew school uniform maybe for 10 kids for um 100 kids it's all depends so yes, uh, before it's six thousand to sew one uniform 
uh, the trouser and the top. It's, so six thousand naira should be uh, about how many dollars? But right now it's yeah. eight thousand. Okay, eight thousand. Right now. Okay. Yes. So do you have like orphanage homes here? Yes, we have. Uh, that's the school over there, and here is the orphanage. Yeah. Okay. It was by a white guy called Nick Indigo Traveler. Okay, Nick, 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 Indigo Nick, Nick Traveler. Indigo Traveler. Yes, okay, he donated a, yes. an orphanage here. Wow, yes. that's that's very very good. We are so happy. We are so pleased. And I know God is going to send help to this community Amen. because I can see that this community really needs help. The water, they do they drink from this water? No, no, we have a bowl in the community. Okay, they have a Where bowl. Where we get the water from? Okay, so but do they bet with this water? Yeah, uh, actually, some kids actually bet in this, but uh, the uh, the adults actually go after the community. Oh, okay. Close to terminal, so right. do they have hospitals? Like, how do they take care of their medicals here? Yeah, yeah uh, there is no anything like hospital here. We only have a uh, maternity home. Wow. Yeah. So if they are sick, if the children are sick, how do you take care of the sick ones? You know, most people here are based on apps. Okay. And, uh, due to the maternity home, some people put more interest of going to maternity home. Okay. And they are good in treating. Uh, oh. The most sickness we have here is malaria. Oh, okay. Yes, malaria is a season of mosquito. Right now, we are in mosquito time. So there is yes, the so high rate want, of malaria. Yes, they, can just, they can just take you to any of these clinics. Okay. They treat you here. So what they normally use for treatment here is herbs. Yeah. And herbs is what if it's in a case where it's, you have a severe severe sickness how do they treat it do they also yes, use that uh we take you to the all this maternity home and they can't treat you well you have to take, you have to take you through the speedboat to the general hospital god is really 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 faithful and he will continue to be faithful Amen. in jesus name so Amen. thank you so much Thanks, he has been the one taking us around he's been wonderful he's been a wonderful guy very friendly so god bless him can you say hi to my viewers hi guys god bless Thanks, you at this point we are heading back home through same means of transportation we thank god for giving us the opportunity the privilege to touch the lives of those young kids and we pray to god almighty to strengthen us to give us the grace to continue reaching out in our own little way and each and every one of you that has been a part of this outreach may god bless you may god touch your lives in every areas of your life as well god will not forsake you in time of need thank you so very much for watching god bless you god bless you and remain blessed